There is a really unique and special relationship between bees and humans. And there has been this relationship forever. I got into beekeeping uh, in 1976 when I married a beekeeper's daughter. Even though it's a gypsy lifestyle, we're permanently gypsies, I guess. All beekeepers in the western United States go to California to pollinate almonds in February. Basically pollinate oranges, apples, cherries, blueberries, pumpkins, uh, watermelons, cantaloupes. Any of the cucurbits, uh, squash, uh, a lot of watermelons, raspberries and blackberries, marionberries and, and boysenberries and so forth and so on. Farming has changed and so they need the bees where they need them. I've been keeping bees since 1976, and in 1976, keeping bees was easy compared to 2007. Basically, anymore, we've got we've got a lot of problems with with mites and viruses and, and things that we don't even know about. My bees looked really nice last fall in Minnesota, and when we moved them to California, we saw some really rapid decline in, in the health of the bee colonies. When you go out and you find 100 or 200 or 400 hives of bees in a location and most of them are completely gone, disappeared. Uh, you go speechless. You literally shed tears. I hate to use the term activist because I don't like the term environmentalist. <laughs> I'd like to think it's more that I recognize that there's a problem going on and it needs to be addressed. 